just going to start with the haul because I already opened some of the things that I bought. This mocha uh, contour stick. I opened my lip gloss. This one's so good. It's so nice. Like the color. I love it. This one is the new version, I think. The one that's kind of like a lip plumping one. So really nice. Then I am going to be using my <laughs> the Fenty uh, foundation. This is the one that's like for dewy, like a dewier um, finish. Is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So I got this one because my skin is a lot drier. I also went ahead and got another matchstick. I got it in the shade Amber. See the shades difference? Like I said, I already got this one. I already opened it. I also did get a different shade. I love this one. This one's called a Fuzzy Heat. Look how cute. It's such a like soft pink. And I feel like my lips, usually when I wake up, they're just like, I don't know, they're like a dull color. So I feel like this one is like enough pink and enough cuteness as well as this one to kind of give it like a little bit more color. I've been wanting to try this Dior Backstage um, Face and Body Foundation. I've heard so many good ones. This one I bought because Hindosh, um, if you don't know who he is, he's like a makeup artist uh, based in Dubai. So... Go to his Instagram because he's really good. If you want to learn like really nice makeup techniques and like looks and everything, he is really good. So I really suggest going for him. But this is one of the ones that he always has in his makeup kit. So I'm like, I need to get it. So I went ahead and got it. This one literally matches my skin perfectly. So this is like my special occasion foundation. So that's the first little bag. <laughs> The other little bag, I went ahead and got the NARS. I've been wanting this. And all of these recommendations were from, like, Hendosh. Um, it was the Dior one. And I think that's, like, the Dior and this NARS one. I've been, like, stalking his whole YouTube channel, um, Instagram, like, everything. I've just been obsessed. I went ahead and got the NARS one. This looks so cute. But I went ahead and got the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Madeleine. Madeleine? It's light 2.3. The last item, I went ahead and got the Rouge Rouge Pocato. I am butchering this up. Look at me trying to look all French and stuff. No, ma'am. The Slim Leather Matte Lipstick uh, from YSL. I love the packaging, first of all. But I got it in the shade 21 um, Rouge Paradox, I believe. Go ahead. And then this is her. She is stunning. Beautiful. And, oh my gosh. Like, can we appreciate? Let's get into the makeup look for today. You guys are going to be getting ready with me. This may this may be like a um, updated routine, maybe not, but like, you know, cuz I don't really do my makeup still, but when I do, I this is what I do basically. This is not like a makeup tutorial or anything, obviously. This is more of like a you know, just get ready with me little chat update of what I've been doing. I sorry I like get really focused on my eyebrows I don't know why <laughs> but I find I got another job like I don't know if I've said this before but I was working as a receptionist at um at a different place and then but while I was doing that job I was still like in um university so I decided, I'm like, let me take the last like month because I've been working full time ever since I could. So like ev like all the years, I've been working full time, full student, full everything and had no social life. So this time, like 2020, I was like, you know what? I deserve a break. Let me try to finish my steady strong <laughs> and I took the break I like quit basically at me at my other job and you know I like finished school thank god so I finished that graduated got my degree and now after that I just didn't want to work <laughs> don't judge me I just didn't want to like go back to a full like nine to five because I was like let me take a proper break you know 
So I didn't want to like get back into it like that quick. But after a while, like I noticed that I wasn't even doing anything. Like I wasn't doing YouTube. Um, I was barely doing any videos, right? So I was like, okay, literally wasting my time, not making any money. Paying bills still, obviously. So I'm like, you know what? Like, it's time. It's time to get a job. <laughs> oh, by the way, I use my Fenty foundation, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, as like a concealer to kind of clean up my eyebrows. I think I've mentioned this before as well, but I don't know, just in case somebody forgot. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover uh, Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Alright, I'm gonna let that sit for like a minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, use the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation that I've mentioned before. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and then also I'm gonna apply it with my flat brush because I've noticed that if I just like go ahead and put it on my skin and then start using it with this, like try to spray it out. The sponge absorbs a lot of it. See, it is still like pretty good coverage. And see what I mean? Like it's all on the sponge, but it's so nice. Like it feels so light. Definitely very hydrating. Am I tripping or like is this the literal perfect match for my skin? Because... I was using the Maybelline Dewy Foundation, the Fit Me Dewy Foundation, and I love the finish on that foundation, but the shades, like, none of them fit me. And the, the one that I used before that I featured in, like, one of my other videos, I love that one, but that one was a little too orange for my skin tone. And, like, you could tell. Like, <laughs> I was trying to fool you guys, but you can tell. Go ahead, actually, and take the match sticks. I'm going to apply both of them. I'm going to take the amber match stick and place it right under... Oh my gosh, that is too out. <laughs> I'm going to place it, like, right here, like, right under... Before, right here, but, like, right under here. I'm going to go ahead and apply that there and you can see it's like way cool tone yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and use that there and these blend so beautifully I feel like all of you guys already know that but you know I'm just finding this out like I'm not really that much into makeup but like lately I've been loving doing my makeup so it's just nice to like figure all this out right so i'm gonna go ahead and take the mocha and i'm just gonna go ahead and dot it right on top i'm gonna go cheek by cheek because i don't know like if these dry or not or like if you have to blend super fast so if you see like that right there i'm gonna go ahead and start blending I'm gonna go in with the NARS concealer. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Like, I've never used concealer in my life, but I'm gonna use um, this Revlon kind of like sponge um, brush. So, I'm gonna go ahead and like dip it in there a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it like under my eye. Like, just. Oh my goodness, that is nice. What? So I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. HD powder just to kind of set that in place. I'm just going to use my beauty blender because why not? Now I'm going to go ahead and do it like right here really defined. 
that um contour <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna go ahead and use my Marc Jacobs 106 tantalized Omega bronze I keep poking my eye. Alrighty then. And then now I'm kind of going for like a pink blush. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier um, Curve Royale. And then I do want some on my nose. So I'm going to go ahead and... Kind of do like the bottom of my nose a little bit. Do the bottom and then the tad bit on top. I'm going to take the Milani Strobe Light Sun Glow. It's the Sun Glow. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and like dust it a little bit. And then just take... I really, really love this highlight because it's literally what the name says. It's a sun glow. So it's a very natural, very nice highlight highlight and I'm just gonna honestly I like to just use all my makeup until it's done because I feel like there's no need to like buy new makeup when I already have like a ton and I haven't finished it so I just like to finish everything I'm gonna do my nose a little bit because I love how that looks oh my gosh I am forgetting about the main main life update i got lip fillers so i don't know i'll put up pictures but when you look at my lips this lip would be like a little bit more straight like the nice straight and like have the little peak this one was like more curved i'm like looking at the viewfinder but i got some lip fillers and she like kind of basically just evened it out because i feel like this lip was a lot smaller and just rounder so I just kind of like even this side with this side and kind of like made them the similar shape as well as the bottom one. This lip side was like, if you look at my older videos, it was kind of like this one was a little bit more rounder and then this one just came up, up like that. And now I feel like it is a little bit more even. So I really, really love how they turned out. They are very, very natural. So I love that. And the... um. The doctor I went with, she was amazing. I love her. And my sister um, actually works there. So that's how I, like, took very, very, um, like, I put a lot of trust in that doctor because she, she does really, really good work. So I went ahead and did it with her. And they turned out, I, in my opinion, really, really good. So <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. And just that I will share. I think I have some clips, you know, so I'll probably insert some of the clips that I took when I was at the office, but I was so nervous. Hey guys, so this is my lip. <laughs> <laughs> I already took it before picture, so if you guys see, this side is like a little, like, slanted like that. This one is like, more like this, and this comes like a little bit more round. So... I already I wiped off some like lip gloss so that's why this is kind of like red and stuff. Anywho, I didn't even do my hair today. <laughs> I'm a lot, but I'm there. <laughs> First of all, I thought they were gonna numb my lips with the cream. They're going in with like the needles, the and I'm scared. The syringe. Oh my god, it's right there, guys. As soon as she went on this side, she went ahead and put the, um, you know, the, what's the thing? I just said it, the anesthesia. As soon as she went and, like, pushed it a little bit, I felt it go all the way. And, like, my whole lip, I just felt like the, like, the little anesthesia run through my whole lip. And this side was completely numb. I was like, that was fast. So when she did the top ones, it was fine. Like, I had, like, a few of the little pinches that kind of, like, I could feel it. Like, it did feel like a little pinch. But I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, it's tolerable. But when she got to the bottom, I was like, mm, I was like, lady, please. And she did go ahead and put more anesthesia at the bottom ones, which thank her soul because they they do hurt. Like if anybody says, like, oh, it's not that bad, they're lying.
anyway I think that is all like I think that's all for that I think I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the I like shook it a lot oh my god but it's the airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury the MAC lip liner in the color cork Perfect. Then I'm going to take my Becca lipstick. Yeah. My Becca lipstick in the shade Dune. To top it off, I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty lip gloss in the shade um, Hot Cherry. Like, tell me, tell me that doesn't look good. Don't tell me, because I'll probably cry, but. That looks so good! I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I love dramatic eyeliner. I don't know if I'm going to do too much of a dramatic, but I think I'm going to try to put my lash up a little bit. Um, instead of my lash line, I'm going to put it up a little bit to kind of give me, like, that fox eye effect. So I am going to make like a thicker eyeliner just so when I put the lash up a little bit, it's not going to take away from the liner, if that makes sense. So, All right, well, my camera cut off while I was trying to do <laughs> my eyeliner. But anyway, I am where my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and use the 3D Faux Mink Weightless Volume and Curl Lash in the Style uh, Fairy by Kala. They're just really pretty and very dramatic, so wanted that dramatic look today. Alright, I am back with everything that- Hey! I'm making a video. Anyway, <laughs> I am back with everything I'm going to be using. I have the hairspray. Girl! Hey, London, stop. Edge control, <laughs> the little smoothing brush, and then brush brush. Or comb, I guess. I want to do the side bang, but let me part it, it out just so I have it ready. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people when they do their half ups, like they do not grab the back of like the hair, you know, like they literally just grab the front part like like that because then they have like that. um that volume in the back but I'm not even sure because like I want to do like a really high up like half you know do you see my vision tell me down in the comments <laughs> you know what I mean yes that looks cute okay perfect guys so this is the final product um i don't know i don't know how i feel about the hair i mean the the bangs are like okay they're okay but like you know they kind of worked <laughs> i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera but this thing is like annoying me so much because my little hairs are keep popping up but how do we feel about the whole look I mean, I really, really enjoy how I did my makeup. The hair, I mean, honestly, we could do a different hairstyle. I don't think this, like, half up, half down thing is for me. But, you know, she's cute for today. I keep moving my head like I just need to relax, okay? I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, if you guys want to see more, like, get ready with me or get unready with me, you guys should let me know down in the comments below. Definitely check out like the things that I was like mentioning in this video. I am obsessed with how my makeup turned out. So I am really, really happy that I'm getting more and more into makeup. Like I might go and take some cute little pictures, but you know, I don't know. Like I might take some here. Like how do they look? Ah! <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and see you in the next one.